Hello everyone, continuation of the last sum itself. According to the basic conditions, one of the basic conditions is fulfilled by Mr. Virat. So, he became a resident of India. Whenever he is a resident, we have to further verify whether he is a ordinarily resident or not ordinarily resident. Which are the conditions to be fulfilled by him to become an ordinarily resident? He must be a resident of India for at least 2 years out of 10 years preceding the previous year and second additional condition to be fulfilled by him is he must stay in India for 730 days or more in the 7 years or during the 7 years preceding the previous year. We have to see whether he fulfills both these additional conditions or not. If he fulfills both the additional conditions, then he becomes ordinarily resident and if he fails to fulfill any of the additional conditions, he became not ordinarily resident. Let us see whether he fulfills those additional conditions or not. As I said that his stay in the previous year was 92 days and we already verified how many days he was stayed in India for the year 18, 19 and 17, 18. For the year 18, 19, he was in India for 122 days and for 17, 18, for the full year he was there in India for 365 days. And in the year 2016, third preceding year, 1st April 2016 and ends on 31st March 2017, how many days he was stayed in this year? He was there in the this year, see here, he comes to India on 30th June 2013 till 1st July 2016 he was in India. So that in this year also he was there from 1st April 2016 and he goes out from India on 1st July 2016. So that in this year he stayed in India for 30 days in the month of April. May 31 days, June 30 days and in the month of July. On 1st July he departs India so that that one day must be counted. So total 92 days he was in India and in the fourth preceding year 15-16 he was in India for full year so that 366 days 2016 was a leap year. So 366 days he was in India in the year 2015-16. In the year 2014-15, it commences from 1st April and ends on 31st March 2015. His stay in India for whole year because 30th June 2013 till 1st July 2016, he was in India at a stretch of 3 years. So, full year he was in India in this year also. In the year 2013-14, he was in India, see 13-14 commences from 1st April and ends on 31st March 2014. He comes to India for the first time on 30th June 2013. So that his stay in India in this financial year commences from 30th June 2013 and ends on 31st March 2014. For how many days he was in India in this year? One day in the month of June on the day of arrival 31 July, August 31, September, October, November, December, January, February, March 31 days. So, total 275 days he was in India in the year 2013-14. What about 12, 13, 11, 12, 10, 11 and 9, 10? No, he comes to India for the first time after 10 years. He leaves India in the year 2003 and comes back to India on 2013 itself. So, earlier years till 2003 he was not in India. So, that no days nil and in 2011-12 nil, 10-11 nil and 9-10 nil. 